One question that I think a lot of people would ask is, is what does the slope look like? It's pretty clear we are on something of a downward slope on inflation. But some people have said, you know what, the first part to get out is the easiest part. It gets actually harder as you go on. Uh, do these numbers give us any indication about whether it's getting harder and harder to continue the downward slope on inflation? Well, that's exactly what the revisions actually told us was that, you know, this is a marathon, not a sprint. And I think that's what we have to go back to is that we've yet to hit the hardest mile. And that is really getting that core level of inflation, that core excluding the shelter costs, as Mike, you know, rightfully pointed out, that is where the Fed is looking at. And that is where they worry about where wages could create too high of a floor in inflation. And in other measures of inflation, that's over half of the index. And that's very important is it's much harder to get from, say, 4% to 2% than it was to get from 6 to 4% on that core measure in the PCE index. And that's where the Fed is focused. And that's where the hardest mile. And they know that history is littered with central banks that have failed to cross the finish line. And they can't really move the finish line closer until they get much closer to the finish line, because that is where you could get a more systemic, more persistent rise in inflation and something that gets baked in as more of a stagflation scenario. We're nowhere near that right now. That's the good news. There's still plenty of time for the Fed to deal with this now. All that's good news. I'm trying to look at the um, glass half full side of the situation because I'm thinking the Fed's feeling a little heartache on this Valentine's Day.